Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mast. Welcome back to more Masters Duel. Today we are rocking Kukulin going up against On Her. So Kukulin is one of those gods in 1v1. He's one of the warriors that can, you can actually pull off. Um, Erlang and Bologna, I would say, are better, but I think Kukulin's underneath them. Uh, so he's actually pretty decent. Um, and really what we want to look for is manipulating his rage as well as we can on her. It's going to have really good clear if I actually can't block his impale or anything. So we will try and keep him from doing that. That's why we're actually going to auto trade here. We'll just start popping potions. Uh, because we do want to block his impale as much as we possibly can. We'll actually go for some poke here because he's taken so much damage this far. And we actually jumped the impale, which is really good. So I built up a ton of rage. I'm going to sustain better than he is because he has blue stone and I have double health pots. And that should be really good for us. Can actually look to poke again in a second. Oh, he's going to go for the jump. I think we'll be okay here. I think we'll be okay enough that I'm actually going to play it aggressive. I missed my one though, which is bad. Which is bad on my part. He has a sprint, which is an interesting active. That's going to keep him safer, but that means he's not going to have a defensive active to use here to actually give him health. Like, I have shell. So if he jumps on me again, I think we have to shell it. Oh, he didn't get the impale on me. So we raged a little early. I couldn't do too much about it. I couldn't really poke him in the meantime. Um, that, that was just kind of bad timing, but that's fine. We'll be able to take the sides off of this. Going to save my next point to put into my one. Let's see if he wants to come over here and contest this. I think I can block his impale. He got it? You're shitting me. No. That's so unfortunate, dude. That's really unfortunate. I thought I was going to block that. I can't believe I just let him take that. He's about to hit five now. Yeah, he just hit five. I just threw this lane kind of hard. This level one here. Stop doing this. Stop doing this. He had to jump there. I, I think there's a chance I could have killed him, but I feel like he had to screw up really badly if I was going to do that. Maybe I should have just ulted. I think I do that too much. I think I try and I, I think that people are smarter than they are. I'm pretty sure. I've been doing a lot of that lately where it's like this man should jump, but he doesn't jump until later. So I kind of, I'm starting to have these what ifs of like, what if I'm actually making the complete wrong play and he just was never going to jump, you know? Uh, we're going to back and get our warrior tabby done. It really sucks that he got red, which means we don't get nearly as much of an early lead. That was a greedy thing on my part, but I just didn't, I thought I could body block his impale and I didn't. Um, he got it around me, so... A little bit of a rough start with that, but we're still building up rage. We still have our ultimate, so we're actually going to be a bit of a threat here uh, in just a second. Let's see. Is he going to jump into this? What do you think? We'll jump this. We'll ult this. That's blue buff dropped. We're about to rage. We'll pop our shell here, which is going to keep us alive for now. Wow, that block actually was sick. I don't think he did that on purpose at all, but his, his pillar nearly blocked my dash. That was a pretty good play on my part, I think, because I had the health advantage with Shell. So I just played it aggressive and just kind of for, tried to juke for a little while before uh, before my, my rage popped or whatever. Yeah, basically, but while I was actually starting to rage, I tried to just juke for a little while. But let's go ahead and start our Nemean. Sorry, I've been doing these mouth click things lately. Um, these little... <laughs> those things. I don't know why I've been doing it, so I'll try and I'll try and stop. I'll try and stop. I've been doing a lot of it. Um, we should have defense over him right now. He's getting his blue, so we're both going to have blue buffs here after that death on his part. Let's go ahead and check red timer. I honestly should have threed that. I should have threed those archers so I could build rage faster. Blue buff doesn't do too much for me, honestly. Let's see, is he actually trying to back? Because we don't like it when people back. No. Okay, if I actually jumped on him, he could try and jump past me. Let's do this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I forgot how low his ult cooldown is. Uh, I think we could actually kill him in a little bit here. Hang on. Hang on. We're trying to bait him. We're trying to bait him. We're trying to bait him. Can we jump his impale? Hang on. Hang on. See? Like, now we have the health advantage. I'm waiting for him to actually impale me. Hang on, I'm gonna come over here and just back on this wall. <laughs> Bait as hard as I possibly can. I see you there, man. Okay. Jump, thank you. You're dead. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, basically what I was looking to do there once I got him low 
as I was just trying to play around the fact that he needs to jump away at this point. I have the HP advantage, plus I have the ult advantage. Uh, whoops, can I get that enough vented? No, it's not going to help. Damn, I'm going to rage. Um, oh well. But we'll go ahead and head back here. Anyways, I was trying to get him to jump away from me, and as soon as he did, he was just dead. And so, honestly, like, there wasn't much of a win for him. I actually, for a little while, I tried to bait him on the wall. I wanted to see if I could get him to keep fighting me, because that was not going to end well for him. I really just wanted to juke out his impale, because that's really the only thing he has that scares me whenever his ult's down. His ult's scary, too, but at this stage, like, I'm not I'm not very afraid of his jump, honestly. Okay, we have Nimi, and he can't fight us. We can literally just auto-trade him. Even with a slow, we can just sustain up, and we will fight him. He has to jump out. I have Shell as well, so I have a big health advantage whenever I pop that. So he's probably going to push up. We're going to look for poke as much as we possibly can. Oh, I didn't reach. Can shell this if we need to. We don't yet. He missed his impale. Uh, we actually can't fight yet. I thought I had my one coming up sooner. He's trying to back. We're going to try and stop him. Ooh, bad jump on his part. Here comes my ultimate. Hang on. CC immune, so he can't impale me yet. He should die here. Just a second. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. So basically, like in all these trades, uh, right now I have Nemean, so he just doesn't win. Uh, Nemean is an item that is unbeatable on a warrior versus physical, like in this in this early game. Any sort of assassin or warrior, you pretty much won't lose trades for the most part. Sees this up? Not yet. Um, so we're just going to keep looking for these trades as much as we possibly can. But let's see. So far we've been playing fairly ability-based. I think it would make sense for me to go Brawlers and limit his life steal. Because even one thing to note with Kukulin, which is part of why he can be scary in 1v1, uh, Hunters, for, for his one, he has a healing reduction of 50%. How long does that last? Four, four seconds, four seconds. So that's really potent against any sort of Hunter, of course. Uh, we're actually going to rage here. We'll see if we can do anything with it. We probably can't. Just clear the wave. Where's the guy at? Yeah, he's far back. Um, but that's really potent against Hunters because of their life seal. So we can look to use that a little bit. Oh, what's up, dude? What's up? You want to get ulted? Yeah, yeah, you do. Oh, I know you like that ult. I know you liked it. Let's block his impale if we can. Okay, he's going to at least not get the archers yet. Uh, we could dive in a second here. Hang on, hang on. I'm getting my one up. We'll be greedy. Yeah, jump away. We may have this. I don't think his, one, I don't think his two's going to be up. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Let's do it, man. The plays. Why you got to be annoying, mate? Dives tower. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to try and do something a little bit different with YouTube. I'm going to try and just start uploading games. Like, just uploading them. Um, like, I already cursed a little bit in this video, and because I'm afraid of demonetization, I already would have, like, not uploaded it because of that. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to start going for it. Because I feel like I need to put more time towards streaming and working on guides and stuff like that. Hang on. Let's try and ult him before we rage here. I was hoping to get over uh, some of his damage there. Hang on. We're raging. There's our shell. Oh, nice jump. Nice jump. We actually have to get out. That's a good jump on his part. Um, can we play this? Because I'm going to have some sustain, but we're so low. I, yeah, we can't do it. We can't do it. We have to give up red. So that's a misplay on my part. I, I tried to fight without having very much built, and, and that wasn't good. We will go ahead and take this wave, though, because we're greedy. Greedy people. Okay, let's back. So he's going to get red. We have a big level lead. I think we'll be able to fight through it just fine. I did pop my shell, though, which is very unfortunate. Uh, let's get our brawlers online. Let's grab some more sustain with potions. So ult is down, rage is down. We cannot fight too well at the moment. Important to note. Wave pushing into tower again. We've gotten decent tower damage so far, which is actually pretty good. And the gold lead's really good. Okay. Uh, definitely worth putting a point in the vent by this point. I keep raging at times. I don't want to because I don't have my vent leveled. But yeah, we're just trying to, I'm just going to try and upload more stuff and not be too picky about it. Because I feel like you guys mostly don't care, and some of you do, and I think I just kind of have to overlook the few that do. Okay, I think we can just trade him here. We're not going to use our vent. We're actually going to Thorns his ult here because it's going to keep him from doing too much, which may not be worth it because he may just completely back off. He wants to. We're going to stop him from doing it. Oh, that was a bad jump on his part. Oh, that did not go well for you, man. We're not raging yet. We're going to have to re-engage here. Hang on. Hang on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Get back here on her. Get back here. That was a nice impel. Get back here. 
on her. I'm gonna wait for him to, yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to do that and then I'll dash past it. We may actually still catch him here. Hang on, hang on. Okay, just kidding. We're gonna take his blue buff. Wow, he stalled for so long there. We're not fast at all. I don't have any movement speed items. I thought I could catch him, man. I really did. Came close. So he's getting into his defense right now, which is going to make it a lot harder to die of him, as you can see. <laughs> as you guys can see, it's a lot harder to do the damage I'm looking for because I'm doing a lot of ability damage, not a lot of auto attack damage. That's something we'll have to try and fix soon um, because ability damage isn't good. That's just one of the things in Smite. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Almost everybody has really bad scaling on almost every character that is not magical. You want to build auto attack. It varies, but it's pretty consistent. All right, let's get stone cutting started up for that reason. That'll be a little bit of penetration as we auto attack trade him. And it'll also, also give us some protections as well. He doesn't have pen yet, uh, which is another reason that that'll be good. Let's look for the damage we can get while we can. He actually jumped pretty early there. We should be able to catch up and root him. Oh, it didn't catch him. See, this is the problem right here is his impale is actually creating just enough separation that he can do that. I don't think this is going to work out for him in the end if he actually sticks around. But it looks like he doesn't want to. Oh, he does. We'll get some cooldowns off then. Okay, that was decent. He's anti-healed for now, but he's going to heal soon. So I think we should just back here. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not doing damage through his Nemean. Maybe I just need Titan's Bane, honestly. That's probably what I should have gone. I, I just feel weird. Like, this build is kind of, oh no, red buffs up. He's going to take that. This build's kind of weird because he has a, uh, I'm doing ability damage right now. And so I don't have penetration very much for those abilities. So that's kind of a problem for me. If he's on red, I can actually... Just kidding, he life steals because he's an ADC. Love ADCs, dude. They're so fun. So much variety in this game mode. So we're going to try and ult him here. I think I can take his tower off of this. I can tank it well enough with my Nemean that it's worth doing that while I can. Especially because hitting my one is messing him up a bit. I'm going to try and get him to jump on me. Nice. Should be okay. Should be okay because of shell. Oh, he has shell. What? Why does he have shell? Why did he go shell and not thorns? That's actually not going to pay off for him. That's really weird. Oh, that was a big miss. That was a big miss. I'm going to rage. He's dead. I think. Dead. Wow. The fact that he misses impale every time, like what matters for him so much is just hitting that impale for him. That was huge for me. But he got the red, right? Yeah. Yeah. Should have known that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... I, I can't really do Bull Demon, so I'm going to just head back to base. We will get Stone Cutting done, because I was already working into it. And I think we'll just grab Titan's Bane. I kind of want to go Midgardian and make him auto-attack me or something like that. But as much as that pen would be nice, I feel or uh, that per, those protections and health would be nice, I feel like I need to go pen instead. And Titan's Bane will be really good for getting through his Nemean. So I've got my ultimate coming up. I'm not close to Rage, though, so this isn't a great fight. I do have shell or, uh, Thorns, though, and Thorns, of course, really, really strong. Actually, I actually should be wanting him more and, and threeing Wave more right now at this stage. Okay, because he jumped there, his ult's down. This is a really good spot for me to trade. Okay, his jump's down, so he can't fight very well. He's going to pop his Sprint to counter out my Thorns, which is fine. That didn't connect, but he's pretty low at the moment, so we can try and force him back and take his blue buff as well. And if he wants to be greedy and try and stick around for his blue, we might be able to kill him on it. He's probably going to impale in a second here. We can jump over. Oh, he's actually just going to back off. That's fine. So we get the blue this way. Okay, so at this point, he's actually low enough that we could look to do Bull Demon. And we'll see if we can get it done in time. Actually, no, I don't think we're going to be able to get it done in time. So let's just back. Let's just back. Because I'm sure he actually did back there. And so I don't, I don't want to risk my life on that with, that with actives down and stuff and my ultimate down. It's not very reliable that I could fight him. Even though there's a good chance, like, I don't want to risk it, you know. But we'll grab our blue. Let's keep our rage down for a little bit. There we go. He's going to probably push in right now. Oh, he's not. Okay, let's make sure he's not on Bull Demon. He's not. Okay. So there's no buffs up. He probably just headed back to base then. Um, we could back right now for some penetration, but we're not quite at Titan's Bane yet. Titan's Bane's 1500, right? So if I wanted to sell Bluestone off, I could do that. Let's pop our two. He's on the red buff right now. We could actually pinch him in here. So he got the red, but I don't think this is going to be very good for him. That was a really unfortunate glitch. I don't know what happened there. We're going to try and knock him up. 
Try and avoid his impale if we can. Not able to so far. He's pretty poked at the moment. Uh, we can try and push with this. Because I'm close to raging here. Phoenix did some damage though. Okay, so let's just head over to Bull Demon. We're going to heal up a lot with our potions. I think we can push this. Kind of just pressure the objective here. He is chasing, so we're going to have to turn on him in a second here. He is going to jump out. We'll catch him with this ult. Yeah, I don't know if he's killable right now. There's his ultimate force. I keep not popping thorns because I feel like he's not going to commit to a fight. He's just going to disengage when I pop thorns, which means thorns is less useful. That's one of the tough things for anybody that can't stick to people any better than this. Anti-heal him early here. That was a bad jump on his part. Uh, I've got my shell ready. I think I'm just going to pop thorns and run at him. He is actually disengaging, which is good for me because I'm getting cooldowns up. Jump, or uh, one, sorry. <laughs> wrong wrong ability. One in there. Um, hang on, let's try and... There we go, perfect, perfect. I think he's dead. No, I'm dead. We're both dead. <laughs> what? Oh my, man, that was so close. I keep forgetting he has shell. The dude has shell. That's such a weird second active to pick up. I keep forgetting about it, man. Oh, this is going to be a tough game to end. It's just one of those things where it's you're 1v1 and you're not a, you're not a hunter. So it's tough to win. Not a top tier character. Um, what do we want to pick up, man? Like, defense would be great, but at the same time, I feel like I probably can't go that. We've already got pretty good anti-heal because of Brawlers in our one. Um, I really don't know what I want to pick up here. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think we're just going to go cooldown. I think we're just going to go breastplate, which is kind of weird to build this late, but let's do it. Uh, I probably shouldn't have upgraded my thorns, but we did it anyways. Let's see, there's a chance he could go to Bull Demon right now. It wouldn't do a lot for him, but it would suck for that to be down because I could use it. With Tower up, it's not super important for him to have it. Okay, he's not on it. He's at Wave. That's fine. Much better for me. His Impale's down. I think we'll just look for the fight here. Let's see if he's going to jump this. He didn't. Okay, he's anti yield. This is not at all a good trade for him. He's going to jump the wall, but we're going to chase after him. Oh, that CC immunity was huge. That was so... I didn't I didn't think that would happen. That was actually perfect timing for me. And that's going to get me Bull Demon. Which is really good, obviously. Because that means that his Phoenix is going to be down. He can't just camp anymore. And we can just chase at him. So that was a really important play there. Honestly, not even intentional. It just worked out that way. Uh, let's rush back real quick. Like, we'll head back to base and then run out. Let's upgrade this because we're going to have it for the upcoming fight. So we're going to run to red buff right now. We're going to get red buff secured. We have bull demon for what will be like 60 seconds by the time we get red done. Um, and we'll be able to fight with that, which will be really nice having that phoenix down. That said, we do have ult down and we do still need to build up rage again. Um, so obviously those are things to work on. See, he's not going to get here in time, right? It would be good to keep my waves alive as long as much as I can, but obviously like red buff is, is more worth it than keeping that one wave. Because I'm okay with just running into his Phoenix right now. I'm okay with that. If he wants to clear waves and I'll just do Phoenix damage, is is one option he could take. Looks like he's not going to do that yet. Let's go ahead and jump on him here. Let's see what he wants to do. He's moving away from his pillar, so we're going to do that. We're actually about to rage, so this is no longer looking as good for him. So he can... My 1's not CC immune, but my 3 is, which is changing some of these things here. I should have popped my shell there, or my thorns. I think we'll be good, though. Actually, maybe not. We're not going to get the kill. That's actually really unfortunate. But we did get creeps in in that time. So with that anti-heal too from me, I get the phoenix down. There we go. So we got the phoenix down because we pushed creeps in with that, which is why I like to really over-aggress in those situations. Let's see, he's going to chase me. We're just going to run. It's fine if he takes my tower off of it or something. That is why I cleared that, that wave, by the way, though. I cleared that upcoming wave and made sure to stick around a little bit longer just so we wouldn't do that. So we are going to go cooldown to try and do a little bit more with our with our stances. That way, I'll just be able to spam a little bit more on him, and uh, that should help out a lot. So his shell saved his life. We used our shell um, as well, and I think that'll be pretty fine that we, we're both down that active. Okay. He's actually really anti ult right now. We're going to look for the ult. He didn't get his off in time. If he wants to turn in trade, we'll just pop thorns. We're actually going to vent here because we're not too close to raging. So let's get some extra damage. 
Got my jump coming up. He's dead. That's game. That's game. 35 seconds. I've got my fire creeps. We've got this, man. Let's just wrap it up, dude. So I, I'm being a little bit less uh, obsessive with, with my commentary in this video. Um, obsessive is not at all the word I want. A uh, little less extreme. I'm not quite as on point as just here's all the stuff I'm doing. This really helps me play better, honestly. For the most part, it'll, it'll help me think a little bit more. I, I want to kind of transition myself a little bit to the point where I feel like to some degree, I think I over commentate and I, I want to still have some videos where I do that. Don't get me wrong. They'll still be there, but I want to have fewer videos where I feel like I need to do that. I can just kind of lay back and, and play a little bit more. Wow. He was not happy that I, that I won that game. He already left. Um, so I think we're going to have more games like this where I'm just going to, I'm just going to record like, like maybe I'll get on for the day and I will record five one V ones. And as long as I feel like those one V ones are just uploadable, if they're not just boring games, then I'll upload them. And that can be a way to get you guys some more variety because um, that, that way I'll naturally probably get a few more wins, a few more losses, etc. And we can just chill a little bit more with the videos and I'll, wor I'll worry less about explaining everything that I do. But thanks for watching, guys. That's plenty of explanation for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I, I've been seeking for the glory Say, say, say my name And I've been trying to wrap my own story In the search for fame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down